Did you know God had a wife? Did you know he divorced their wife? Did you know that he promised to get her back? Did you know that through the law of marriage in Deuteronomy 24 that a man who divorces his wife could never get her back after she's been defiled by another man? This is all part of God's plan. This is the big picture of what you're not being taught in the Bible. You see, Israel is God's woman. It's his wife. <clears throat> Excuse me. And through sin of the northern kingdom, God gave them a bill of divorce. De Jeremiah 3 and 8. But he promised to get you back. Read Hosea 1 and 2. That's what that whole illustration is of Hosea going to marry a harlot and having children with her and then going back to Redeemer. This is the big picture of what God is doing. You see, the wedding took place in Deuteronomy and in Exodus. The wedding vows were the Ten Commandments. We broke those vows and God divorced the Northern Kingdom. But he didn't divorce the southern kingdom. Read Jeremiah 3 and 9. There's a reason why he didn't divorce the southern kingdom. Even though they fornicated worse than the northern kingdom. Because in Genesis 49, the Messiah, the Redeemer, was promised to come through the tribe of Judah. So if he had to divorce the southern kingdom, then his plan would have been derailed right then. So he put up with the southern kingdom, even though they fornicated worse than their sister Israel. This is the part that everybody's missing. The law of marriage. The law of marriage in Deuteronomy 24 reads like this. When a man has taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes because he has found some uncleanliness in her. Then let him write her a bill of divorcement and give it in her hand and send her out of his house. And when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. And if the latter husband hate her and write her a bill of divorcement and give it in her hand and send her out of his house. Or if the latter husband die, which took her to be his wife, her former husband which sent her away may not take her again to be his wife. After that, she is defiled. For that is an abomination before the Lord. And thou shalt not cause the land to sin, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. Okay, so God divorced the northern kingdom. But he promised to get her back. How can he get her back without breaking his own law of Deuteronomy 24, the law of marriage? <laughs> and that's where John 3.16 comes in. Because John 3.16, God so loved his wife. He so loved Israel. Israel as a whole, northern kingdom and southern kingdom. That's what the world is in that context. The word world is not talking about everybody. It's talking about the kingdom of Israel. For God so loved Israel, both kingdoms, that he gave his only begotten son. What does that mean? It means he sent his son down to die. Because to free the northern kingdom up to be married again, somebody has to die. And through Christ's death, now she is free to be married to another. Is it clicking in? <laughs> but you too have to die. You die through baptism. So this is what Paul is talking about in Romans 7. And in uh, 2 Corinthians 11. This is what he's talking about. Don't you see what happened? Look, Northern Kingdom. Christ came and died. Now you are free 
of the curse of the law. You are free from the law of marriage and you can be married to another, even to the one who died. And that is the narrative of the Bible. Peace.